Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about another PowerShell topic. And let that be this. That is, we will talk about PowerShell looping. That is, for each looping. Let us define an array for that. Let that be this. Right, so array, this is an array. How do we know that it is an array? get type so this is an array control forward slash to comment this out and then let's see what is looping this is for each number in array I will say just print out the number oops It is printing out the number. Awesome. What if I want to add something there? Byte host. Come on, Microsoft Visual Studio. Don't be this dumb. Okay, write host. The number is. All right, awesome. Now, this is how you go ahead and loop through a list. This is not the only way you do this. First you use, use array and then you use the pipe for each and do like this. Right, press F5. Awesome. But it printed only the last number. Why? Because you have to do it like this. So what you're saying is for each variable in uh, this array, you just print out the variable, not doing anything there. If I want to do what I did earlier, write host, the number is dollar sign underscore. Yep, exactly what I did earlier. Another way of doing that is for each write host well, for each object write host the number is dollar sign underscore f5 this one works too hit enter what if you want to want to solve an actual problem here you want to find out the uh, even number and odd number right but that is a problem let's do this way for each Then I will say if dollar sign underscore that is the variable this modulo two that is divide that number by two and if that number is, if the reminder is zero right then. You do this, that is write host, write host is even. Else, write host, dollar sign underscore is odd. Let's see whether this works. F5. What does it say? Process. Hmm. Why does it uh, have to go through the process? Well, I'll tell you why. Because when you are saying for each uh, piping, you usually mention like this process and then the script code. But if you do this, it says, well, you have not given any process name. So, but I'll show you magic. If you do this, then it works. Right. So without you having to, you know, having to go through that, defining the process or uh, giving it the process name. But if you do this, whereas officially, actually, theoretically should work, it won't. It needs a process name. So yeah, there is a caveat to that 
just remember that. Whenever you are intending uh, the code, try to keep it like this so that your uh, you know, interpreter are in this scenario, the PowerShell knows that, okay, so it's going to be the next block, right? One is odd, one is even, three is odd, three is even. But what if you do this for each object? And I would still like to keep this down here, down here, down here. Will that work? No. But if you go the other way for each n array, it works. So one of the reasons why I always use uh, for each and then a condition instead of piping is because of this. I can put my code like this and it is easy to understand if someone is reading the code. You can, however, just you know, have all of this one line, right, like this. Okay, and let me that is array you're piping for each and you're checking the condition that works too but to me readability understanding the code or by someone else who is reading it or changing it or updating it is more important than being it just short or one liner let us look at hash table now that is traffic is at this and we will say green is go yellow go slow red stop okay and then i'm going to print this hash table out here so this is the hash table i type this if you don't know what's the hash table or an array is go watch my previous videos and you will have an idea do this then it will just give me the values so let us do this for each key in traffic dot keys Write host key means you should write green means you should go, yellow means you should uh, go slow, red means you should stop. So let's say foreground color blue. background color yellow okay makes sense green means you should go yellow means you should go slow red means you should stop so that is all we had for today thank you for tuning in have a great one